Hey there, Calvary Bible. This video about Realm is going to be about uh, getting you signed in to your Realm account after you've created your account. So just on a daily basis, where do you go to sign in? And then how do we get some very uh, basic information for your profile, including a picture, which is critical to what we're doing. So I'm going to pull up my web browser here. And the web address you want to type in is www.onrealm.org. It's going to bring you up to this page, and we're going to enter the information that we did to create our account, our password. Randy loves cats. One. few numbers at the end there we go we're on okay uh, so that's how you get on to realm uh, if you want it might not be a bad idea I'm gonna sign out here for a second to click on this little link or this little icon at the top and put your screen your sign on screen there's a little bookmark tab that way whenever you open up your web browser you can just click on that and it'll bring you up to a sign-on page. And this one's particular for our church. So you'll see potentially one of those two options. Sign back in here. Randy loves cats. A few numbers. And boom. All right. So we're back on. Uh, the first thing we'd ask you to do is put some information uh, on your profile for communication purposes and just some, uh, again, very simple information. Again, probably one of the most important things is to add a photo. So we're going to click on that icon and then get into your file folders and find a photo of yourself. And here's the one for Joe and his wife. His wife's name is Lucy. We already added her in, Lucy Schmo. And uh, while that's not a bad picture, I'm going to zoom in as I drag across here and you can pull up picture that looks just real good for uh, you know identifying who it is so we're gonna save that there now Joe's got his profile pickup there's some information here already as you can see like I said we already populated his wife in here Lucy um, but we want to fill out his profile a little bit more so we're gonna click on that edit profile tab and it's gonna bring us into some contact information so this is where we're going to close uh, this video out, just in this editing his information. His name's in there. We, uh, we'll put his address. And he lives at 629 Union School Road, Mount Joy. Oops. Here we go. Oops, one, seven, five, five, two. Can I accept that. If you've got you can add more than one phone number in here, so if you've got another phone number, eight six seven five three oh nine. We'll add that. If you have another email address, you can add that there. Uh, if you're into linking your accounts, uh, that's beyond, that's above my pay grade, but that would be down here if you wanted to do that. We'll hit this save button at the bottom, and that's going to get saved for us. Now, I do want to go back into this edit profile one more time because I'd like to update also my personal information. So again, some of the stuff, some of the basic information might already be in there, especially if you've converted from the city. So if it is, great. If not, then that's not a big deal. Um, allergies might be something you want to add, especially as we create profiles for some of our kids uh, in the future uh, when we do the child check-in system. So that may be something to add in there. It's, uh, it's good to take note of. And you can add your church mailbox number. And this skills box at the bottom is also important um, because it allows us as a church or some ministry leaders, if they're looking for someone who's got particular skills in a, in a particular area, you know, 
then they can search that skill set and find someone. So Joe Schmo's a good gardener. He's not too bad at decorating. Um, there's all kinds of different categories. If you uh, play an instrument, that'd be great to know uh, for the music team, things like that. And then we'll we'll save that. And then it's got, again, some of our basic information in there. And that's uh, that's what we need from the profile side of things. So if you can do that, that's super helpful for us. Uh, people can see your picture and associate a name with a face. And uh, it's a great way for our faith family to stay connected and to really get to know folks throughout the whole church. All right. Thanks. Look for the next video.